for the sign of Libra hello and welcome to my channel so we've got the four of wands and it's with the four of Pentacles so four of wands it's showing in this picture that you could be thinking about attending some type of special event one which will be way more fun than you're anticipating so go and have a good time but I guess these days you got to be careful maybe you shouldn't go <laughs> but the four of wands is saying you should go I guess you just got to wear a mask I mean I don't know but be safe with the four of wands also your business is likely to be going very well you'll be proud of yourself and others will be proud of you also although this is a very positive card in the tarot it shows that there could be a need for you to keep your wits about yourself you might feel like you deserve and should treat yourself to some fun but just know that you're still in a building up phase and now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels this four of wands can also mean that you might be moving you could be thinking about relocating or just moving your place of residence now it's paired with the four of pentacles now you see this man it looks like he's on all fours and those are pentacles when you hear pentacles in the tarot that's money cash coins finance income so he's got his hands on his money and his feet on his money and it looks like they're glued to the pinnacles if you can see his eyes they look like they're about to pop out of his head and his brain look brain looks like it's about to explode so four of pinnacles it's a card about holding on to things people money or situations much longer than it's realistic or healthy so it's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in a healthy way the four of pinnacles is pointing to anxiety fear could be about money or you could be clinging to whatever it is that makes you feel secure now the key is to try to realize that being anxious and grasping like he is in this picture this is really not healthy and it doesn't bring security it does not bring security so come well actually this is the recent past so your past energy is this four of wands and the four of pentacles so recent past could have been last week a month ago six months ago and it looks like um I'm picking up that you a lot of you Libras you wanted commitment with someone in the recent past yeah because this four of wands is about long-term commitment and marriage probably engagement you wanted us you wanted something serious with someone and it looks like you probably started to cling on to it in a very unhealthy way so let's take a look at the present time present time we got the world card and it's with the queen of swords now the world card it's about completion you've worked hard you're almost to the finish line in some way so just don't quit now because you're really really close you're probably feeling like you need some well-deserved rest and relaxation don't be afraid to take it you're getting closer to who you are at your deepest levels now when it comes to work it's a really good chance that you're working way too hard for far too little recognition and money so it's important if this is the case to blow your own horn toot your own horn just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments so that's the world card which is about which is um, basically about the end of a journey 
closing out a cycle. Now it's with this Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, it could be about a woman in your life. And this woman, I guess you can tell just by looking at the picture, she is one who is not to be trifled with. She could have dark hair, dark eyes, but it could go either way. Now, if this is not an actual person, it's, it's pointing to a need for you to be forceful, very forceful and honest in some situation just to get your needs met. You may feel like you have to put your foot down. The Queen of Swords, it can indicate that your instincts, they're serving you well. You already know what it is that you want and need. And now it's all about going after it. It's a very forceful energy. And some people, they find this energy really abrasive. So, coming up for the present time... Queen of Swords and the World card. Like I said, I'm picking up for a lot of you Leapers. You're trying to close out a cycle. Or a cycle is trying to close out for you. But I'm picking up that you're trying to close it out. Because the Queen of Swords, it's an energy. Or it's, it's a type of person that's coming towards you. Or this is you. So it looks like you could be trying to close out a chapter, ending a journey, and you're, you're doing it with force. Or, you, or you're thinking that you have to be forceful in the situation just to close out the cycle. But let's take a look at the challenge. So we got the Page of Cups and we got the Star card. Now the Page of Cups, it's showing a need to play, dream, have a little fun. When this card appears, it sometimes means that you're taking yourself far too seriously. There was a poet that once said, the one thing that I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work seriously and taking oneself seriously. The first is imperative and the second can be a disaster. And that's the Page of Cups. And it's with the Star card. Now the Star card, you could find yourself feeling really inspired. And you'll be feeling more hopeful about the future than you have in a while. You'll also feel more confident that your needs are met, whether they're emotional or financial. Or they could be both, emotionally and financially. They'll be met. Nothing can be taken for granted, of course, but it's unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. And this, this is also a spiritual card, the star card. You could find yourself feeling at one with all of creation. Or you just might feel spiritually inclined or you want to tap into your spirituality. Now, this is not a common feeling, so make sure you savor it. So, basically, the challenge is showing right in the picture as clear as day that a lot of you Libras are dealing with someone that uh, <laughs> I want to say they're interested in just playing hey, this could go a few different this could have a few different storylines you're dealing with someone that's uh, more interested in hanging out having just a good time not really taking the connection serious because they're more into just having fun so it's a challenge dealing with this person now it's with the star card so you could um, because it's a challenge dealing with this, this type of person 
that's not taking this connection serious, you could find that um, you get some inner clarity because the star card is about renewal, hope, having faith again, um, getting inner clarity. So you get some inner clarity, some things are brought to light, and it gives you renewed hope again. You're feeling maybe like you did before you met this person. But it's a challenge because you're probably realizing that this person is just in it for fun. So, let's move on to the outcome. Now, we got this Four of Swords, and it's with the Two of Cups. The Four of Swords, it's showing a need for break. Yeah, you see this man? I hope you can see the card. It's, it's an interesting card in the tarot. <laughs> it looks like he went up to the mountaintops. It looks like he went up to the mountaintop. He took his four swords and a candle with him. And maybe the dogs came along. I don't know. I don't know if those are wolves or dogs. But they came along with him. Or they followed him up there. So. It looks like he. Laid himself to rest. There was a need for a break. He just didn't want to be bothered anymore. So he lit the candle. And he put the candle in his shoe. I don't know if you can see the shoe, but it's right below his foot. Because he plans to be there overnight. He's not getting up anytime soon. And he put the four swords around him, just in case anyone bothers him. He'll use the swords if he has to. And he's got a little night light there, so it's showing a need for a break. And it could be from normal life, maybe. Now this could mean that you or someone in your life, they may withdraw for a time. This withdrawal is not likely to be permanent though. This man, he's coming down from the mountains. He didn't bring any food with him. He didn't bring any necessities, just a candle. <laughs> so this withdrawal is not permanent. It's also a sign to give people their space. You could need some time and space for yourself. Others could be pushing too hard for bits and time and attention of you. So don't hesitate to draw boundaries or to just say no. On the other hand, when someone says no to you, make sure you take them at their word because if you push in this circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. Now the Four of Swords is with the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is showing a very, very romantic partnership beautiful card in the tarot very romantic but that's not its only that's not its only connotation you can speak of balance friendship joy sharing this card says that things are going really well and you should be feeling more than usually loved cared for and content this card represents true love Balanced partnerships, balanced partnership, commitment, all of the things that most of us hope for when it comes to love and relationships. So there's a romantic love, a partnership, proposal, marriage, what we all hope for before we leave this lifetime. Something beautiful with another person, the ideal partner, harmony, union, Deep connection. So that's the outcome. We got the Four of Swords and the Two of Cups. So let's recap the reading so that we can get the complete picture. So Libra, like I said, in the recent past, like it may have been uh, last week, it may have been three days ago, six months ago. It looks like you, you wanted commitment with someone, but you were clinging on in an unhealthy way. Um, you probably were resistant to 
I don't know, maybe you had some type of fear. Maybe fear of... I'm just looking at fear in this man's eyes. Yeah, you were maybe resistant to some type of change or you were just afraid of losing this connection or it could have been some type of unhealthy clinging. Um, basically, you wanted commitment. You wanted this connection to go to the next level. You wanted it to be serious. Um, looks like you really like this person, the way these two people are looking into each other's eyes and smiling. So you, you clung, you clinged on, you clung on, <laughs> cling, clung, you held on really tight. Now, it's showing coming up in the present time, which could be towards mid-July, could go into August, or maybe around now. It looks like with the world current and the Queen of Swords here, um, it looks like you might decide to just close it out. Close out that chapter. And it might require some force. You might have to be forceful with the person you're dealing with. Or you just might have to be hard on yourself just to realize that the chapter needs to end. The cycle needs to end. The journey is over. Now, it was challenging because you must have just, you woke up and now you're realizing. You got some inner clarity with the star card. You're, re you're realizing you're not really standing in your power like you used to. So something was brought to light. And you realize that um, you put a lot of energy into this connection. Yeah, and... It takes a lot of energy to cling on to someone like like this who's really just in it for fun. And they're not taking it as serious as you would like for them to. So it was a challenge, or it will be a challenge for you coming up in July. And that's why we've got the Queen of Swords here. You're going to have to be forceful with yourself to close out the cycle and end the journey. And then it looks like you, you, the outcome looks like you, you take a break, you withdraw, probably spend some alone time. Yeah, with the Four of Swords showing up here, it's about rest after a struggle. So you went through something with this person, it was a struggle. Um, it's just showing that they didn't take the connection serious. They probably played around. These people at the park, this page of cups, there's three people above the word challenge. They're hanging loose at the park. There's three of them, not two. They're halfway naked and they're turning up the bottle. So your person didn't take it serious, this connection serious. And yeah, you wanted something more than just a good time. But the good news is that your outcome is beautiful. Even though it, even though this man who's um, out for the count, temporarily, <laughs> he'll get up soon. Um, you get up soon, Libra. You're going to wake up. You just need some rest. And when you do, it looks like you, you run into the ideal partner. It looks like somebody really special is waiting for you or is around the corner. Yep, so dream on. That's what the Two of Cups is about. Because it's a very romantic love. It could turn into proposal or marriage. Like I said, the Two of Cups is beautiful. It's the ideal partner. Yeah, so that could be around the corner. It's saying that that's the outcome, but you're gonna, you might not jump right back into, into it. This could be a new love coming towards you, or maybe it's someone from the past, but it's not gonna happen right away, because it looks like you're in that, um, the outcome. It looks like you're gonna be in a phase. What do they call that phase where 
A re yeah. You probably they call it rebound. Yeah, you don't want this two of cups to be a rebounder because they say the rebound person never is the one that you get serious with. They just they're somebody that helps you get over what you just lost. But anyway, uh, it's coming in, Two of Cups, the ideal partner. And um, you'll take a break. You'll get over this person that just wants to, that just treats you like a good time. That's what I'm picking up. They just, they're not uh, serious yet. Maybe they'll turn around in the near future or way down the line. But right now, they're just, uh, they're hanging loose. As you can see in the picture. 